you know, they shouldn't have policy that you cannot spend your money at a, a crypto exchange. You know what I mean? Like crypto exchanges, and this is another thing that people should get used to when they start stepping into this world that is just different. When you look where these places are based, these exchanges, they're not going to be in the UK or the US. These, you know, what you would, because the regulation is an issue. So they will be based in places like the Cayman Islands or British Virgin Islands or uh, Singapore or Dubai or you know, Belize. There's these places that are more open regulatory crypto wise have better policies or more open policies that allow the pa these places to do business so it's just it's just a, a switch of mindset about what is normal it's like another thing like when you buy when you join a crypto exchange like a, a centralized one normally or you know just a decent exchange they have a thing called know your customer where you know you have to and this freaks people out you have to show your id there was you know, you'll join, you'll sign up, and it will send you like a, a thing saying, okay, you need to take a picture of your ID and send it to us. Then you need to take a selfie so we can see that you match the ID. Now, there's crypto complete purists who only mine it and don't want anything to do with that, and they all buy a thing decentralized. That's fine, they can do that. But for the average on the street, it's probably okay for you to do those things, but it's not normal. It sounds like a scam. Someone say, right, give us your picture of your passport. I don't think so. Not these days. No, I don't think so. Not I've the last had couple of years. Maybe before. Okay. Not the last couple of years. I'm quite used to having to do well, that's that good. for different things. Yeah. Well, that's good. Don't think so. And it's to be honest, it's almost it's also a reassurance thing. But I think it, as okay. long as I know what I I'm doing it true. for, you know, as long as, long, as long as I know what I'm doing it for. Yeah. So for your example of an exchange where I've yeah. gone and purchased crypto in the past. But this is it. That's I. But I'll do my as as a Joe blogs. I'll do my due diligence and go. Okay. This. This cryptocurrency platform mm -hmm. hmm this is what I, am, I have to use to buy this script yeah, this yeah, yeah oh this is what i've been recommended yeah okay let's look elsewhere online and go and look at the you look at the reviews you can do it yeah, like yeah, anything yeah. else and go yeah. is this legit or is it not yeah and then you go okay and then you sign up you give your id i like i like on the, especially on the crypto side i like something that asks me for some form of verification that way because in my head that means that it's much more difficult Mm -hmm. for a fucking criminal to use it for nefarious activities. No, I agree. I Just agree. on that basis. I agree. Because also, where I'm, where I'm, it's an exchange. It's not something holding my currency. I'm just mm -hmm. using that to get my currency. Yeah. Right? Well, so, you can store it on the exchange. You can, can, no, you can do that. Very bad practice. Yeah, yeah, you, you shouldn't can, do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But my point is that if you are completely new to this, mm. you just, no one's, no one's talking you through it. No one's telling you anything. You've heard about, you know, you've heard something. He goes, I'm going to try and buy this crypto stuff. And you don't know what's normal, and you just go to an exchange and start asking, start asking you for your ID and stuff. It puts people off. It put, I've, I've tried to help people on board with this who are going, I'm not putting my ID in. I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? But it's just it's about recognizing what is normal behavior. You, if you're trying to do this stuff, you should do that. And actually, for the for Joe Blogs, that's actually a really good thing. Yeah. You know.